Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just felt like filming a makeup tutorial because I don't know, I just kind of felt like it, especially since I have my new ring light. So I feel like my makeup tutorials will look so much better on camera now. So I am ready to get back into, you know, filming makeup tutorials. I'm kind of not sure what I'm going to do yet, so I'm just winging it really. So, um, I'm just um, playing with a few new products that I have and um, we'll see how it turns out, all right? <laughs> so I'm going to, oh, it broke. I didn't even know this bottle broke. I have to be more careful. But I'm um, <laughs> going to start with my Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I already did my eyebrows and if you're looking for an inexpensive drugstore primer, this is a really good one. I would suggest you to try this one out because primers can definitely be expensive and who wants to really spend so much money on makeup not me so <laughs> now i'm going to apply my foundation and i like to use the covergirl queen collection all day flawless foundation and it says it's a three in one so it's a foundation and sunscreen. I don't know what the third thing is, but um, <laughs> I'm using this in warm caramel. And this product is literally like my perfect, perfect, perfect skin tone. Like I cannot stress that enough. I was on the hunt for my perfect uh, foundation and um, it was always either too yellow or too red. So this one is actually a neutral tone so I discovered that I should go for more neutral tone foundations because it just fits me better and being a brown skin girl I always thought I needed something with a red undertone but you necessarily don't need something with a red undertone especially once you um, highlight and contour it brings everything to life any anyway I like to make it more skin-like and blended with a beauty blender. So this is a real beauty blender, by the way. It's just the black one. Now I'm just going to bounce that all over. And of course, it's damp because that really is the only way to use a beauty blender. Now what I like to do is I like to highlight and contour from here. So um, I'll be using my nude stick. For highlighting and um, if you watched my eyebrow tutorial you'll see I use the same product um, to clean up the eyebrows but um yeah so let's go in the triangle and when I highlight I like something really close to my skin tone because I like a natural highlight so And then down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the chin. So now I'm ready to contour and I'm going to use my CoverGirl. This is also the Queen Collection and it's a compact foundation. And this is in the color True Ebony and it has a little mirror. And I'm going to use one of my brushes from the color, I forgot the name of the brush set, but it's a BH Cosmetics brush. And I think it's like the color pop, not color pop. That colorful set that I can't remember the name of, but it's a really nice brush. Um, as you can see, very small, and it just gets right into where I need it to get into. And I don't even take it down too far because we don't want to look crazy out here. <laughs> and from there, I just like to swirl it in a swirling motion to blend it out so it doesn't look like a line. And then I also like to do my forehead a little bit just so I have a little bit of a transition color. 
Not that I have a huge line of demarcation actually because this foundation just looks so natural. But I just like the look of a transition shade from your forehead to your face. So I like to set it all with my Contour and Blush 2 palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the more brown girl friendly version of the two palettes that they have. And for my highlight, I'll be using this yellow color. And of course, to set my contour, I'll be using the brown color. Or to set my highlight, I just like to use this e.l.f. blush brush. It's like the perfect brush. It's really soft too for a brush that costs like $3, I think. I just like the yellow tone of this highlighting powder. It's very subtle. And it just gives me a little bit of a lift. And then I'll use my little chisel brush again to set my contour. And literally, this I use this really lightly because this contour shade can come off really chalky if you use too much. So. Just for the purpose of setting it, brush it on really lightly. So now I move on to the eyes. Of course, I'll be priming with my Urban Decay Eye Shadow Primer Potion. Oh no, my camera's overheating. I hope it doesn't shut off on me. If it does, to be continued. <laughs> I'll be using my favorite palette of the moment and my for the most part, I guess I'll be using the Modern Mattes palette. I don't even know what I want to do, really. I think I don't want to do too much color, so all over the eye, I'm going to do this shade because it's my perfect shade for all over the eye. And I'll be using a fluffy brush for that. I'll take it all the way up to under the brow bone. You literally can't even see it. This is just a base color. And it just makes everything easier to blend later on. What I'll do, I'm going to take this peachy color right here and put that on the inner part of my eye and the outer part as well. So guys, my camera shut off because it was overheating, so, um, or to prevent overheating it shut off. So it wouldn't let me be great and finish this tutorial, but now I'm back. I ate a little snack, so I'm re-energized. So let's keep going. <laughs> so I have the outer corner and inner corner with the peach, and now I'm just going to go in with this lighter peach in the middle. Alright, so now I'm just going to blend that all together with my fluffy brush again. Very gently, because I don't want to lose too much of the color. We want a little bit more dimension. So I'll just go in in the crease with this deep purple color here. And I'm using circle and swiping motions at the same time, just to get it nice and blended. I'm going to go back with my fluffier blending brush to diffuse it a little bit better. I lost a little, bit of, a little bit of color on the lid, so you know what, I'm just going to go over it with that dark peach again because I didn't really like the look of the whole um, lighter middle section look. It just wasn't working, so I'll just go over the whole lid with that. Alright, so I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I have like a, you know, a brown, mauvey brown with like purple undertones here. And I'm just going to go right above where I place that purple to further diffuse it out. So now I'm ready to do some eyeliner and... I bought a new eyeliner before I was using the Master Graphic by Maybelline and now um, I picked up the Wet n Wild, what is this called, Graphic Marker Eyeliner. 
literally the same type of product with the uh, angled edge and its felt tip. I really like using this design. It's so much easier for me to work with. So it turned out bigger than I wanted it to, but it's, it's still cute. I like it. Now that my eyeliner is done, I am going to do lashes. I just started to wear lashes, so I'm still learning how to put lashes on like really well. And I always tend to put them like right above, like not right above my lash line, but like too far above my lash line, which is really annoying. <laughs> Because it looks so fake when it happens, but um, I'm just practicing, you know. <laughs> so please bear with me. <laughs> I'm just let that dry for a second. I just brushed the glue on. Alright, so now I can let that dry and I can do the other lash. Pretty proud of that one, so hopefully the second one will turn out the same. <laughs> I really like these uh, Wispy Ardells, like they're so pretty. And while that's drying, I'm just going to go on <clears throat> my waterline with black liner. And I'm actually using a new liner. This is... 12 hour made to last by Jordana. Just your regular old drugstore brand that you can find anywhere. I just want to go back um, under my eyes um, with, with this color here, that mauve color I told you about earlier. And I'm just using my tapered fluffy brush just to sweep that right under. So now that that's done, I've used these lashes a couple of times so you can see the glue a little bit. I don't know how to take off the glue. Um, is there just a time? I mean, I've only used them twice, I think. Maybe once. I'm not even sure. Um, but I just want to know if there's a way to take off the glue. Since there is glue showing, I'll just go over that with the liquid liner again. Well, the felt tip liner. Um, just to hide the glue. And now I'm just going to put mascara on my eyelashes and I'm using the Revitalash. Um, I've shown this in a previous makeup tutorial video. Um, it just They sell it at my job and I got it for free so... And this is actually the eyelash conditioner which I like to put on my lashes first. And now I'm just using the mascara from the same brand. So for blush, if I can find it, I'm just using my one of my favorite colors um, and I think it will look great with this eye look and it's the Coral Cove color by Milani. I'm trying out a new highlighter today. <laughs> so it's by Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild <laughs> and it's the Illuminating Palette. And it looks like this. I don't even know what I want to do. I think I'm going to mix this darker rosy color um, with this gold here. And I have a little fan brush. I'm going to place that right at the high point. You guys, this is wet and wild. Like, can you believe this? I wonder like if I wet it, like how even more magical this would look. Ooh. See, sometimes you just gotta go to the drugstore. <laughs> you don't need to go to Sephora all the time. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Good job, Wet n Wild. We have to do something with these lips, right? So. 
I think I'm going to try out um, a new lipstick that was gifted to me this Christmas um, by one of my friends slash co-worker. And it's a YSL lipstick. This is um, one of my first um, high-end lipsticks, so I'm pretty excited. It's called Rogue... Well, I don't know if that's just the the collection. Well, it looks like it's color 54, but it says Rogue Pure Couture. And it's this nice purple. Before I put that on, I'm going to line my lips with, um, what is this called? Cabernet. And it's just a Jordana lip liner. Oh, my lips are so dry. That was the perfect liner for this lipstick. Like, I was just guesstimating in the drugstore. And it's perfect. It matches perfectly. I can't. I can't stop looking at this glow though. I can't stop. Look at that. Thanks guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it and give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace guys. Oh,